Hello, dear friends. May God bless you all. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the glory of God, the Spirit of life, the one who resurrected Jesus, the Spirit who resurrects the dead, the Spirit that brings life, the Spirit of God who brought life or brought into existence the things that didn't exist. May He bring to your life the things that still don't exist in order for you to know the will of God for your life. God is a living God. God is a great God. God doesn't do anything small. Everything He does is great and perfect. It's huge. However, in order for Him to do the great things He wants to do in your life, you will have to agree with Him here on earth. This is very nice. Very nice. This is extraordinary. In order for God to do His will in my life, then I have to agree with Him. I have to agree with Him. To agree with Him. When I agree with Him here on earth, then He will do His will. That's why, dear friends, that's why, my dear friends, people suffer so much because they want God to bless their life, but they do not want to sacrifice God's will, or rather, they do not want to sacrifice their will here on earth. They do not want to sacrifice the things of this life. They are too attached to the things of this world. And that's why they suffer. Because as much as you might worry about conquering this and that or the other, The more you worry about this, the more doubts you, you have. And once you are in doubts, you are not going to receive anything. Anything. You are always going to be chasing after the wind. This is it. Chasing after an illusion. However, if you think the way God does, if you think of the things of God, if you think of the things above, as the Holy Spirit says through Paul, he says like this, If then you were raised with Christ, if you are raised with Christ, is that you were born again. You had an encounter with God. You received the Holy Spirit. You were born again. They became a new person. They've died to the world already. They cannot live, obviously, with the life they had combined with the new life that the Holy Spirit gives them. It's either one or the other. If they have already resurrected and they were born of God, then he says, seek those things which are above. Seek those things which are above where Christ is. 
sitting at the right hand of God. What does it mean, Bishop? How can I seek the things above? What I had to seek from above, I already sought and conquered, which is the Holy Spirit. This is it. Praise God. However, you have to continue seeking the things from above. Oh God, what do you want for my life? I am not here in this world wasting time. You didn't send me here in vain. You didn't raise me for me to live for myself, for me to fulfill the desires of my heart. No, you raised me for a purpose with a much greater project. Just as you did with the apostles, with the heroes of faith in the past. I know that you want to do something in my life. So when you agree with God, when you think like this, according to His will, the Holy Spirit comes and makes you understand what He wants from you. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above. It's not just to seek the things which are above where God is, but it's also to set our minds according to what God thinks, to think of the things which are above, not on the things of the earth. And this is the problem. The devil, the devil knows, the devil knows that human beings are very vulnerable. Human beings are easily carried away by their eyes, by their ears. There are people who get pregnant by their hearing, isn't it? Or by their eyes. So there are people who are obsessed with the things that the world offers. And that's what the devil did to Jesus. He showed Jesus the glory of this world, the glory of the kingdoms of this world. And he said, oh, this is mine, and I will give you all that if you bow down and worship me. Which means that the devil works to increase the glow of the shopping centers of this world for them to shine brighter and to give a greater emphasis to the perishable things of this world. And people obviously are deceived. They pay attention to these things just as the devil did to Eve. Look, Try the fruit. It doesn't cost anything. God doesn't want you to be like Him. That's why He's telling you not to eat it. So Eve allowed herself to be carried away by her eyes, by her lust, by the thought, Oh, I'm going to be like God. I will know more. And see what happened. Therefore, dear friends, the Holy Spirit says, if then you were raised with Christ, meaning if you have already died to the world and you are in Christ Jesus, then think of the things above where Christ is and set your mind, seek the things from above, set your mind on things above, not on the things on the earth. For you died. We are already dead. To the world, we are already dead. Did you know that? Did you know that? We have already died to the world. Our lives, as he says here, is hidden with Christ in God. It's written here. Look at how nice, how wonderful this is. 
if if then you were raised of course those who didn't raise yet is because they haven't died to the world so they are alive to the world and if they are alive to the world they are dead to god that's the reality it is what it is there is no more or less there's no oh let me make a way no either a person is of god or they are not those who have raised with christ they live their life for him to please him and they are already dead to this world the world is dead to us oh bishop but tell me if i already raised with christ i have to seek the things above yes that's what god wants for you what is his purpose for your life he didn't raise you just for the sake of it there is a reason there's a purpose so seek this purpose only he can tell you what to do i cannot tell you so you have to seek the things which are above set your mind on things above and not on things on the earth which means in those days paul already faced this problem in the church people were in christ but they had an eye in the world and he said you are already dead you've died those who are in christ are dead to the world those who are not in christ the world is alive to them they are alive to the world and dead consequently to the lord jesus christ so either you are alive to the lord jesus and dead automatically to the world or you are dead to the lord jesus and alive to the world these are the only options there is no middle ground either you are or you are not do you agree with me do you agree that's it that's the reality this is the reality that you must understand and analyze and perceive and evaluate and consider in your own life because the faith that pleases god the faith that honors god is this one the faith that you are or if you have been raised with christ then you seek the things above but if you didn't resurrect you didn't raise with christ then you are going to continue seeking you are dead and you continue seeking the things of this world it's obvious it's not possible to conciliate both things it's not possible to conciliate darkness with light it's not possible i will read the text again slowly i ask o holy spirit in the name of jesus right now these people who are watching me i pray that you may enlighten them because i sincerely have no words to give that will satisfy the need of people only you can clarify lord i will read your word it's written here if then you were raised with christ seek those things which are above where christ is sitting at the right hand of god set your mind don't just seek but set your mind on things above not on things on the earth for you died and your life is hidden it's hidden with christ in god when christ who is our life appears then you also will appear with him in glory which means I understand it this way I think I believe this way I will speak of my faith so 
if I have already died to this world, what is that in the world for me? Nothing, because I've died. I died to the world. The world died to me, and I died to the world. However, if I haven't died to the world, then I will be seeking the things of this world. Obviously, I will be seeking the things of the world because I am in the world. If I am in the world, I am not in Christ. I haven't been raised. But if I... It's very nice. If I have been raised, if I am a new person, then the world is already dead to me. My dreams as a young man, my, my desires, my personal projects concerning the world, it's over. They died. It's over. I died to the world. And the person that you are watching right now is an extraterrestrial. I am extraterrestrial because I have already died to this world. However, if I, if I say, if I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior, however, I also have my own thoughts, I also have my own lusts concerning the things of this world, then I haven't died to the world. I haven't been raised with Christ. I'm alive. And then, obviously, that if I follow this path, I will lose what God projected for me. I will lose. There is no other way. So, the one who decides this is myself. God gives me the chance. God places on the table. He places on the table. Look, it's here. The way of life and here is the way of eternal death. What do you want? If you resurrected with me, then seek the things which are above. Think of the things that are above. Keep your mind occupied with the things above in order for you not to, due to your carelessness, fall into the temptation that evil, that the devil offers in this world. If you are dead to this world, the devil cannot do anything against you. He's lost you. He's lost you forever. But if you haven't been raised with Christ, then you will continue to be alive to the world. And once alive to the world, the devil will tempt you until you fall. So, this is the vision, this is the understanding that I have concerning what is written here. I will leave it in the caption. I always leave in the caption. Colossians chapter 3, from verses 1 to verse 4. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Of course, if he has raised me, it's to live with me. And I have to think of the things he wants me to think, the things from above. I have to, to seek, I have to think of the things which are above and not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. This is tremendous. This is extraordinary. Praise God. Wow. 
it's very good to to be speaking about this and and seeking words from God in order to give to you. I hope that you have understood. One thing I know, when a person is born of the water and of the spirit, they are spiritual, they are spirit. So they have understanding of the spiritual things. But when a person is not born of the water and of the Holy Spirit, they are not spirit. And not being spirit, they are flesh. They are physical. And how can a fleshly, physical person understand the things of the spirit? It's not possible. It's impossible. In order for a human being to understand the spiritual things, they have to be spirit. In order for people to understand the things of God, they have to be divine. They have to be born of God, to have been born of Him. And when a person is born of God, they seek the things from above. They seek to know, what do you want from me, Lord? What is your purpose? I am not here in vain. You haven't saved me for nothing. What do you want from me? Unfortunately, many people have had this revelation. They were born, they resurrected with Christ Jesus, but they still want to enjoy the world. They still want to have what others have. They are envious of others. Oh, this happened and the other one happened. And look at the miracle that happened in my life. Today I have a beautiful house, a car. I have everything. I have a family. So if you keep your eyes on what other people have received, you will become envious. And once you are envious, game over. The devil will make you fall. That's why, dear friends, our mind must be always pure. Thinking, it's what the Apostle Paul himself teaches. Finally, brethren, he says here, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. If there is anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things. This is very strong. So you see many Christians failing because they want to live, they want to be saved, but they want to still take advantage of the things of the world, which is not possible. It's one thing or the other. Those who are died to the world are dead. They are dead. That's it. We've died to the world. We are alive in Christ. Dead to the world. But if we are alive to Christ and still want to take advantage of the kingdom of the world, then it's not possible to conciliate the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the world. Yes or no? You have to agree with me that it's not possible. May God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.